Walsh, the camp director here at Double H, and I'm joined by Conrad Fleischman, our director of facilities. And we are so excited to show you guys the inside of our new building, the Raccoon Cabin. The building's still under construction, but we're going to get a sneak peek. Before we go inside, we're going to learn a little bit about the outside of the building, and Conrad's going to tell us why it looks a little different than other parts of our camp. You're welcome. So we're going to start with the very top of the building, where you see some white aluminum gutter white vinyl siding, which is very easy to take care of. Very light uh, cedar shakes that we're gonna start uh, introducing to all the other buildings too. Our normal two by eight log siding that we have on all the other cabins. And then we've added stone to this building just to make it stick out and look even better. Awesome, so we're gonna head inside and check out what it looks like inside the building. So as you can see, we still have some snow on our ski hill. We're hoping that that goes away as we're starting family weekends in the next two weeks here at camp. Uh, but it is still beautiful and we're excited about it. Come on in. So what's great about this building is there's many different ways to get to the different floors here at camp. This is the first floor where the raccoon campers will be staying during the summer. We've got seven bedrooms and three rooms are staff rooms and the rest are camper rooms. But we're gonna go upstairs and check out the inside of a finished bedroom. Come on up. Like I said, there's different ways to get up to the second floor. We have stairs in the back, we have stairs in the front, and we also in this building have an elevator. So it's accessible for all campers and all families to get to all the floors. So we're going to show you one of the camper family rooms um, and it's really great to see that we've had such a great say in this building and what we can do in this building. Um, again, this floor has seven bedrooms and we're going to take a look at one right now with Conrad. Come on in. So the camper cabin rooms will hold four beds. They're over 300 square feet. They have beautiful views. One side of the building looks at the ski, ski hill and the other side of the building looks at the uh, baseball field. There's lighting controls, there's Wi-Fi in each room, dimmers, lots of good electric, and lots of good lighting. And then here we have the bathrooms, which are over 100 square feet. They have uh, floor drains, uh, all new tile. The mirrors aren't installed yet, but all, all zero barrier shower, entrance free zero barrier showers, zero barrier sinks, and a pretty nifty seat in the shower with an adjustable shower head. Moving along. Moving along. So we're going to head down the hallway to the common area of this building. Um, again, as we talked, we said that we've been able to make a lot of great decisions in this building. So if you notice the hallway, it's extra big um, so that children and families can spend more time in this hallway, but also that kids can easily maneuver down the hallway. The doorways as well are larger than your standard doorways. So children who might be in big power chairs can more easily get in and out of their rooms independently, which has been a really nice feature in this building and been an awesome opportunity for us to get a say in how kids maneuver in this space. Um, so we're gonna head into the common area up here. So this is a space that will be filled soon with comfy couches, um, bookshelves, a TV, and it's gonna be a space for families after a long day of either skiing or snowboarding um, or being out at the ropes course to come into and to relax and hang out, um, connect with other families, connect with other kids, and share their experiences at Double H. One of the things that we really are excited about is having common areas at camp. We found that people like to bond and like to come together. And in this building, we've been able to put in three big common spaces for people to do just that. Um, and this is our elevator. Is it working yet, Connor? Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. We were going to try and come up and pop out. but uh, So our elevator will be located in this space that brings you from this floor all the way to the basement if you wanted to, but also stops at our main level. Uh, so what we're going to do right now is we're going to head on downstairs and check out the common areas down there. So again, we're in the front of the building, going down our staircase, heading to where the raccoon campers will live in the summertime. So this space is going to be where a raccoon cabin has their cabin chats, gets together every first night to go over the cabin rules, and it's just a space 
for them to come together as a group of kids to talk about you know, the things they've done well at camp, uh, the things that they might be scared of, and to share their stories about their time at Double H. So we're going to be putting in some benches, some bookshelves to hold all the games and arts and crafts that these kids are going to leave here at camp. Um, another great thing about this space is we're building in tons of storage. Uh, so we have more closets, we have more areas for things to be stored so that it's easier for families to be in this space and for kids as well. And in the basement, there's over 4,500 square feet of storage. One of my favorite things that I've about this project. <laughs> We're very excited for storage here at camp. Conrad's going to talk a little bit about these bathrooms here and talk a little bit about who helped us out with the tiles. So, right, right. So, uh, so part of this project for the rec room is to also work with the winter program and we do have a lot of people that show up on the weekends and we always need bathroom facilities. So we've added two additional common area bathrooms that will be open year round for everybody to use uh, and for the extra people that we have at camp. We have more storage behind me than a product. Another coat room, and then this is our entrance to our great room, <laughs> and it's very great if you ask me. We plan on installing a very high-tech sound and video system. All the walls will have uh, built-in cabinets and benches and bookshelves to house all our Hasbro toys. There'll be a giant uh, push-button fireplace, which is nice, you just push the button and the fire will start. Um, and if you notice too up top, we're seeing the, uh, the trusses right now, but there is what I can see, it looks like the double H's up there. I believe you're right, Conrad. And I think they look pretty great. <laughs> so, so this space will be used again for people to come together, uh, for kids to, to hang out, to relax if they need a break from the craziness of camp. We'll also be having meetings in this space for our board and our facilities committee. Um, we'll be using this space for trainings for our staff and volunteers. And we're gonna just use this as a common space here at camp, which like we had said, it's really crucial to build in those spaces where people can come together and enjoy camp and enjoy being together. So we're really excited about this room um, and can't wait to see the finished product when it's all done. Super excited. Yeah. We'll go outside. Let's, Let's do outside. it. Let's go check, check out our yeah. enjoy just being out here. Um, we're gonna have benches and Adirondack chairs um, and it's just a very nice space for people to hang out and enjoy the Adirondacks. Also notice our nice custom logs that we use to hold up the front porch. So these are actually real uh, uh, Adirondack uh, hand, hand peeled cedar logs that were used um, and the guys did a great job installing them I think. The tongue and groove ceilings are installed, our sprinkler systems are ready to go out here, our doorways are installed we're looking good. So we want to thank you guys so much for joining us on this virtual tour of the raccoon cabin. Uh, it wouldn't be possible without the support of so many people to make this happen. We're looking forward to doing some more videos once the project gets completed to show everybody how beautiful it looks uh, at the end of the process. And we are on schedule for completion at the end of May. Looking forward to welcoming our 2018 summer campers for a good summer and a good time. Awesome. Thank you guys so Thank much. Thank you. See, See you, you later. Soon. Health and happiness. <laughs>